Hello Pisces, welcome to our Timeless Tarot Nightcap. Okay, the day has ended already. I'm a little bit late because I had to reset up. I had to transfer where I usually take my videos. So I had to make some arrangements. So we are a little bit late, but yeah. Well, it's part of a busy day. Well, I invite you now to have a short tarot reading with me at the end of the day to relax a little bit. Now for your main energy, we have here the Two of Pentacles. It seems that you have been very busy lately, or at least today. Mm. You've been trying to balance things, no? And maybe also developing a certain skill. It makes me think here of a, uh, a specialist in the, uh, doing exhibitions in yo-yo, <laughs> okay? So yeah, you, you seem to be developing certain skills and uh, you have been very busy today. Balancing many things together. Okay, now uh, let's try to see what are further messages. Okay, some of you are expecting something, <laughs> maybe a package, you know, uh, maybe a, a person also. And at this time, also you are very intuitive. You seem to be very sensitive to the to the effects of nature, maybe even the cycles of the moon. Uh, you seem to be able to balance right now your masculine and your feminine side. And yeah, uh, you've taken off your masks. <laughs> you see here, there are two masks here. I think finally you, you have the courage to say, this is me world, you have to accept me for who I am. Okay, so, or maybe also you are deciding right now what kind of masks. For some of you, maybe you you finally have the courage to just be who you are. Now, for some of you, maybe you are trying to see, okay, what kind of mask should I wear for tomorrow? <laughs> you know how it is when you, when you start the day and you open your, your, your closet and you try to see, okay, what clothes will I wear today? So it's like, a, what kind of role should I perform today as a mother, as a father, or as a, uh, worker an employee or a boss or whatever it is okay maybe you are uh, right now uh, trying to see your self-image right now maybe for some of you uh, for some of you you are trying to maybe discover who you truly are the you that is meant to be okay so maybe that is what maybe that is related here you now you are very much in touch with the universe and trying to ask the universe who am i okay <laughs> so that you can immediately say to the world world this is me whether you just accept me for who i am okay so for some of you you are trying to discover your true person at this time and that is a good good way of doing that no uh, you're kneeling on the swords no uh, i don't know what significance that is it's as if uh, right now you are in a receptive mode, less talkative, yeah, because usually the swords symbolizes our ability to communicate. At this present time, you are kneeling at the swords, so it means that you prefer to be quiet rather than talking. You prefer to be in the receptive mode, I think receptive to the universe, because you are in the process of no discovering who you truly are, for some of you. you know? For some of you who are already who already discovered who you are, maybe you are trying to see how you can improve even more the you that you are meant to be. Because we don't completely we don't completely uh, just develop who we truly are. We are it's a a work in progress. You know? As we grow older, this person that we are meant to be evolves also. So I feel you are right now maybe in a point right now in your spiritual journey where you are uh, reassessing your image, your self-image, uh, maybe also nurturing, uh, maybe for example, for some of you, maybe uh, you need to regain your self-esteem, you need to nurture your inner self again so that the inner self will again be the one that you will show to the world. Sometimes we tend to hide the real us because of some situations uh, that we encounter or maybe even rejections from other people but i feel if you were rejected if uh, you were forced to hide who you truly were 
or who you truly are in the recent past, I think you are right now trying to regain your person and you are uh, trying to yeah learn from the universe how you can express more who you truly are. Uh, you are not in the talkative mode right now. You are more in the receptive mode. Maybe allowing the universe to guide you. You are expecting something. Maybe expecting some inspiration or some enlightenment from the universe. For some of you, you are physically expecting something. It can be a person or it can be a package. You know? Maybe a package that will uh, that has a, a certain book or an information that will allow you to undergo this transformation so that you can truly be your true self. Now a chapter has just been closed no? and yeah it was a painful chapter but the birds are there. No? Um, uh, it's like uh, hmm. for some of you maybe you felt like people didn't care uh, that you were hurt some people are just passing by like for example here you were asking for help and for some of you you did not receive the assistance that you were asking for but the chapter has closed already maybe that's the reason also why you do not want to talk right now because of the rejection you were in a point where you need help you need assistance but uh, Somebody didn't help you. Somebody, some, somehow maybe you might have felt a certain rejection from a certain person. Maybe that's the reason why you're not in the communicative mode. And the mask. Hmm. So for some of you, a chapter has just closed and maybe you were, you were asking for assistance. Nobody assisted you. So in a certain sense, yeah, you, you were not communicative right now. And you are asking maybe certain questions from the universe. I feel that the reason why you were busy was because nobody helped you. You were tired. It's as if you were running a one-man show. Okay. And maybe this one who is expecting somebody is maybe you are, ask, you are waiting for somebody to help you. I think you ask for help. You didn't just keep quiet about it. I think you asked for help, but you were rejected. And so maybe you are uh, expecting some other people who will be coming to help you in a certain sense. But you are proactive because even if you, while this person is not arriving, this person that you're expecting, you were busy working on it. So in a certain sense, it didn't discourage you. You continue on working. So for some of you, a chapter has just closed. You finished it. You were able to finish it, but uh, you felt alone. You felt like nobody helped you. And maybe that's the reason why you are not very communicative right now. And I think you are not wearing any mask. You remove your mask because somehow you don't care anymore if people see that you were uh, disgusted maybe or depressed or a little bit angry maybe. for, for uh, a better group. Who is helping you? Who would be helping you? Yeah, it, whatever it is, it has caused you anxieties. No, uh, it affected you. It really affected you. The rejection affected you to the point that even in your sleep, no, maybe in your free time already, when you should be resting already, uh, the hurt or maybe even the anger that accompanied that rejection mm -hmm. affected you even in your sleep. So uh, it robbed you of the peace of mind that you should be having in your free time. So right now in your nightcap, I don't know if you're still thinking about it. If you're still thinking about, still thinking about this rejection, maybe it's time for you to give it to the universe, no? And, and I think this is a good approach. You, you do not hide the hurt feelings. Be honest about it. You tell it, be honest to yourself also. You tell yourself, I was hurt. I was hurt and I feel rejected. Uh, say a little prayer to the divine right before you sleep. If you right now still feel the rejection, you still feel angry, you still feel anguish, anxiety because of that situation that had just happened, uh, don't go to sleep without entrusting this to the divine. Ask your angels and the divine, please take it away from me right now. I want to sleep in peace, okay?
it's time for you to yeah to hack these things so don't worry uh, don't worry the universe is coming to your aid all you have to do is to ask and you shall receive uh, before you sleep and trust it to that universe yeah you see it's affecting you right now uh, for some of you yeah uh, you're trying to rest now but still you cannot rest completely because uh, the turmoil of the rejection is still there okay so uh, don't drink too much alcohol okay <laughs> you can drink juice <laughs> or water uh, I yeah well if you feel rejected right now and trust it to the universe don't let it <clears throat> trouble you right now because right now is the time for you to relax and smell the roses so for tonight and trust everything to the divine if this resonates with you this reading right now feeling of rejection it's time for you to relax no? uh, for some of you if you have some incense or uh, yeah if you have some incense or some scented candles no uh, maybe you should light them right now especially if it is something that can relax you for some of you you can take uh, chamomile tea or whatever thing that you can relax you right now you need to relax and free yourself from this negative energy that seems to have accompanied you even now okay so um somehow it's like this no uh, maybe a scented candle or 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 uh, yeah uh, some, something maybe a, a scented candle can can help you relax right now because you need to fly into your dreamland <laughs> right now the chariot no, you need to uh, free yourself from you see here the chariot is somebody who's moving on no, you need to move on from this this is already a closed chapter uh, if you were rejected let it be it's already a spilled cup the universe is giving you something new already it's time for you to fly move forward move on to move on and uh, yeah I think this one is yeah to be able to sleep comfortably uh, flying no? flying with the geese no? it's like going to Neverland mm -hmm. uh, it's like Peter Pan going to Neverland so <clears throat> uh, you need to let go and trust everything to the divine yeah try to relax right now move on <clears throat> I know it's going, not going to be easy I mean especially when you're angry so you need to recognize that now is the time for you to nurture yourself so recognize if you were hurt if you feel rejected if you are angry angry recognize it and pamper yourself now if nobody cares about you care for yourself okay if there's some loved one there right now who is with you right now maybe you can ask them also to pamper you a little bit right now okay so yeah it's time for you to yeah the king of cups no is somebody who moves on no? he's setting sail to the sunset or to the sunrise whatever it is now so it's moving on so I feel whatever this painful situation is don't let it trouble you even especially tonight you need to move on you need to fly uh, leave it behind move forward like the chariot and at the same time also set out again into to brighter days okay so uh, it's time for you to close the chapter and move on so i feel this is what is the reading for you right now um pisces so now i invite you now to uh we, we will try to finish now the, the the tarot reading with some oracle cards okay so so for those of you who feel rejected right now don't uh, go to sleep without letting it go no let go of this negative energy if you need to ask help from the from the angels from your guides no ask help from them okay now let us see okay reach for the stars okay i feel reaching for the stars is have a good night's sleep okay you have barely scratched the surface you have unlimited potential and you are getting ready to experience this firsthand okay well whoever didn't help you right now well they didn't see your potential and they didn't see the possibilities of what you are working on i feel it was something very important you felt the potential of whatever it is you were working on and these people didn't appreciate it so don't worry 
I think the universe, uh, yeah, reach for the stars, don't mind them, you know, move forward, fly like the chariot here, you know, this is a very unique chariot, she, she uses goose or geese, <laughs> two, two geese, okay, you know, and uh, he's setting forth to, to this adventure, so, yeah, continue reaching out for your dreams, even if you feel alone or not supported, onward and upward, see, okay let go of the past okay let go of the past okay nurture yourself now so you can be present and create the future you desire okay so close this chapter even if it is painful try not to think about it anymore and trust it to the divine move forward move on close the chapter forget uh, let go of it no uh, the rejection i mean uh, these people they couldn't see what you can see okay so let it be so let go of the past and so that you can be uh, yeah you can be at peace right now and then you can move on to the future so this is what you can see for you right now maybe uh, an incense or or a scented candle might help you relax tonight okay well this is our reading for tonight Pisces I hope that this tarot nightcap has uh, resonated with you. It's a little bit specific, no? Because not everybody might have felt rejected today. But for those of you who have felt rejection right now, uh, move on. The, the invitation of the cards for you right now is to move on. Set sail to a new tomorrow. Fly with the geese, no? Onward and upward, reach for the stars. Don't let the rejection keep you from flying. Okay, thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Uh, thank you for subscribing. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.